there's a wealth of laboratory evidence that these anti-tumor properties kill cancer cells in a variety of ways. There are multiple mechanisms of action identified by which cannabis kills cancer cells. And they're divided into various categories. And among these are anti-proliferative effects. Normally, that's, that's one of the hallmarks of a cancer cell is that it just keeps reproducing. So if you stop the reproduction, that's an anti-proliferative effect. There are anti-angiogenesis effects, and this means that the cannabinoids will stop the tumor from being able to elaborate or grow new blood vessels to support the growth of the tumor. There are anti-metastatic effects, and that is simple enough to mean that the cannabinoids block the ability of the cancer cells to spread into other tissues. And there's another uh, effect that has a wild name, apoptotic effect. Apoptosis refers to the ability of cannabinoids to speed the death of the abnormal cells. And that's something that is, is especially important in cancer because you're, you're able to hasten the death of the cell without disturbing the normal cells around it. Seth Research Laboratories in California have recently demonstrated that in some tumors, cancer cells are killed by marijuana, while the other healthy cells are left untouched. Cells that stop moving and become still white dots are dead cancer cells. The ability of cannabinoids to kill bad cells while protecting healthy ones is particularly important when we're talking about brain cancer because of the so-called blood-brain barrier. The brain has to be sheltered from outside influences that might hitch a ride on the bloodstream and cause havoc. What is exciting and unique about cannabinoids is that they can pass through the blood-brain barrier because of their slippery, fat-loving nature. Cannabinoids get right into the brain's cancer cells by moving easily through the cell's membranes, which are also composed of lipids. The evidence is piling up in mice-infested labs that the endocannabinoid system, when stimulated by cannabinoids, has an anti-tumor effect and can instruct cancer cells to commit suicide. This was done by Manuel Guzman's group uh, within the past less than 10 years, and what they showed there was that originally that THC, when injected into a brain tumor in mice and rats, uh, a significant number of those animals, would the tumor would regress and disappear, so that you actually had survival of rats that, uh, that would otherwise die. And they examined all the surrounding nerve tissue, and that was all fine, because remember, once again, cannabinoids protect nerves. Dr. Manuel Guzman is a professor of biochemistry and molecular biology in Madrid, Spain, and is known for his groundbreaking studies on medical cannabis. We have observed that cannabinoids have an effect inductor of death de las células tumorales, un efecto inhibidor de lo que es el crecimiento, la multiplicación de las células tumorales, lo que hacen es disminuir el crecimiento de los tumores. If cannabis might be the miracle cancer cure that everybody's been searching for, then why don't doctors everywhere know about it? People have a hard time believing that cannabis can have all of these fantastic effects that are described, but what we're doing is we're just stimulating a natural system that's already there. This has been developing for hundreds of millions of years. The early, the invertebrates, the sea squirts, the hydra, there are primitive endocannabinoid systems in those organisms back, dating back six, seven hundred million years ago. The cannabis plant came along maybe 50 or 60 million years ago. Why